Hello, it's David from Sail Tai Chi, live and direct in La Rochelle to show you the new Neil 52. It's the replacement of the Neil 51. You can see in the shape of the hull that is really light on the water. So probably gonna have really, really good performance, but what we've seen in the first sea trials. But for today, let's have a look inside at all the, all the details of the boat. So one of the first thing you notice is uh, it's aluminum uh, guardrail with textile. Um, so much lighter and nicer looking than what you have on most boats. And also they are high, it's got three levels, so it makes it really safe. So really what Neil has tried to do with this boat is make it even more performing and safer. So really uh, a boat that's designed for long-term blue water cruising at high speeds. So here again, uh, you can see that the boat is really designed for safety. Uh, you're fully protected at the back. What's really evolved on the 52 um, is uh, these stairs that lead you to the hand station, which are very wide, easy to access. And then this hand station, which is um, even bigger than what you had previously, um, and really optimized uh, for sailing this boat uh, single-handed or as a couple. So here you've got the helm, engine control, um, then you've got your BNG electronic, you've got your bow thruster, and just next to it, you've got your three winches. So what's really important, what makes a difference is you can be walking on your line and you have the autopilot here. So you don't need to go um, around the helm or uh, moving from one side to the other. It's really, you've got your helm with the autopilot and you've got your winches here and all your sheets, halyard and reef will come uh, here and you've got three electric winches. So uh, really practical um, and really you feel in control here um, with access to, to all that from the helm. You can be helming with one hand and trimming yourself with the other. One point you see is obviously Neil has uh, worked a lot on the solar panel. Um, so you can see the solar panel that are uh, completely uh, flush and uh, integrated um, in, the, in the roof. Going up again, we now have the lounging area. So, I mean, here we are at the, the boat show, uh, but you can imagine being in a remote anchorage. And you do have this space, but Neil has kept the boom low. Um, so you do have a low center of gravity on the boat. So talking about performance, uh, on the Neil 52, you've got two uh, head sails. You've got a, um, a stay sail or Solent and a Genoa. And what's important is both have their own rail uh, and own ship. So you can really trim them and, and bring them in. It's not going on the side. It's really well centered. So that means uh, you can really go on a close hole either on the, the solent if the wind is uh, 15, 20 knots and above, or with your uh, big Genoa if uh, the wind is lighter. But really in any condition, you're able to make way going upwind. Here you can see again um, how well uh, designed it is for safety. Uh, with the guardrails here, so you're completely protected if you're going to your anchor or to work on your head cells. Um, here, it's got uh, a very well designed um, seat at the bow. So, uh, I mean, you, you have those on many multi hulls but usually they're quite ugly. Uh, and Neil has done a great design. One feature which is both uh, elegant and, and safety is uh, here, you've got this step. So you're not um, falling on the trampoline, if you mean. Um, when you, when, especially if it's at night on the sea and you, you want to go uh, forward, you don't have this big jump onto the trampoline, you have um, this lower level, and here it's almost flush, so that makes it uh, much safer to walk around. You can see you've got um, protections here everywhere, um, 
again very high um, guardrails um, and as you walk on the side of the boat you've got handrails here handrails here and it's quite wide so that makes it again uh, easy to walk around the boat at sea uh, whatever the conditions are here you the boat is designed to uh, collect the rainwater so again the idea is really uh, that it's a boat designed for people that will go long distance and live aboard so what's typical uh, of the nil design but really made to a higher level is this communication uh, between the cockpit and the saloon um, so you can see uh, everybody's connected in the boat you've got two tables uh, one outside one inside um, but what changes here is really uh, the layout compared to the 51 um, in the 51 you had a very big galley on port um, and now it's on starboard um, it was already very good but it's even more practical um, because you can really be standing here uh, and you've got access to all um, the appliances and lots of working surface really all around you so uh, that makes it really good if you're if you're living aboard long term um, it's a kitchen that feels like home you have direct access to um, the owner's cabin but we'll look at that uh, after but what's noticeable is really um, from the galley same as from the owner's cabin you have the view all around the boat let's look at uh, another feature which has been uh, upgraded it's the nav station so you now have this very large nav station which is forward facing um, so you feel in a uh, complete control um, with a great view on your headsets um, and all your instruments here you've got the honest cabin which is here in from the cabin you've got the view at the front of the boat at the side of the boat and what's new is you also have a window at the back so you can really see all the, the sea around you but what's happening with your crew as well and let's go down because uh, that's where it's uh, completely innovative um, so you can see all, all the nice details but I want to show you uh, how the layout has evolved if you go down the honest cabin um, is actually connected to the starboard hull um, and here you've got the honest desk so it's really designed for um, living aboard and working remotely you've got uh, cupboards everywhere shelves so you can store all your uh, all your uh, equipment all your working equipment um, there's plenty of them You've got a nice desk, um, so if you remember upstairs we had the great helm station but we also have this space here. So the boat is really designed for people that want to walk from their boat. Um, and then you get into uh, the bathroom part with heads here, a great shower, and then you've got the laundry room. Uh, so each each Neil 52 can really the layout can really be customized. Uh, you go from four cabins to six cabins, plus crew cabin if you want. So there's a lot of flexibility. Uh, this one is really an honest boat, so they have um, this laundry room here. You can see it's very um, very practical, very well designed. You've got lights everywhere on the boat, good ventilation. Um, so that's the starboard hull, which in this owner's version is completely dedicated to the owner's uh, living space. So going from the saloon onto the port hull, you've got here uh, another cabin, guest cabin in the port hull, which has its own ensuite bathroom and shower. So that's uh, somehow symmetrical to what you've seen in, in, in the owner's uh, suit, except 
on the other side you have the desk and here you have a cabin heads with separate shower and then the next room which can be used as as you want can be storage can be laundry can be workshop so going forward um, you get here so here we are we are in the central hall um, in in this version you get two bunk beds for kids again um, can be completely customized to your needs so it can be a double bed or a two bunk bed uh, version okay. here you've got the bathroom for this cabin and you've got access from this cabin directly to the other great cabin which is here and, I, and I'll show you how you can exit it. it's got two two access so this cabin is uh, in the central hall and you've got the view on both halls you've got port there and starboard so it's really um, in the center of the ball uh, closest to the center of gravity uh, and actually uh, a lot of owners uh, it's supposed to be a guest cabin but a lot of owners uh, say they want to they want to sleep here because it's so central in the boat and so this uh, cabin in the central hall um, as we've seen you can um, access the bathroom here or you can exit directly into the saloon that's the layout in the owner's version uh, for cabin with um, the owner's cabin uh, same level as the saloon completely private starboard hull one cabin with two uh, bunk beds uh, in the central hull for one one very big um, guest cabin central hull middle and one great cabin uh, on the port hull but this boat can also come in six cabin version um, you can have so that's the owner's uh, layout but you can have a layout where here you don't have the owner's cabin it's going to be in, completely in the starboard hull and all this is your entertaining area so um, it will be typical for people that want to do charter with the boat uh, versus this one is more the owner's version so in the 52 uh, neil has retained what's made it so famous which is uh, the big technical room uh, in the central, uh, central hall with all your technical equipment but instead of having it opening in the saloon and taking all the space uh, in the middle of the central hall it's now more towards uh, the back you enter from the cockpit actually more practical when you are sailing and you need a quick access to your engine or to your um, technical equipment and that frees up space for that great cabin we've seen in the middle of the central hall. But here you retain everything that's made Neil famous. So you've got the engine in the central position. Um, here you've got the genset. Uh, you can equip this boat with the integral system uh, which replaces the genset if you want. You can have lithium battery. Um, at the back you've got access to the rudder and automatic pilot here are the cables for your uh, for your rudder coming from the hull so very easy to see and to check um, and here you've got your electronics control you've got uh, the watermaker system um, and you've got your batteries lithium batteries here and all the uh, electronic components. So as a conclusion, I mean, I'm really, really impressed by the Neil 52. Um, I like Neil Trimarans. Uh, I've been sailing on the, on the 51, on the 47, uh, in Tahiti, uh, but the 52 is really taking it one step beyond.